I'm from the Dublin area. I know you started coaching at Westerville Central. Yeah. How has your coaching evolution changed from back then to today? Man, I feel like I know more. Um, to be honest with you, probably less than you think, obviously more more knowledgeable than I ever have been. I coached the D-line at Westerville Central, so I yeah. flipped over to the offensive side. But um, I think the same in the regard that I've always, always tried to make it about the young guys in the program. Mm -hmm. I think in that way, it's been very much the same. Yeah. Um, also, can you talk about your playing days? I know you played at Scioto and stuff. Yeah. Man, uh, you know, um, I, I loved my time there, um, really proud of what, really what we did there. That was a new program that that um, we got a chance to build up and won a ton of games, won a conference title, actually won the first conference title um, we had ever won there. And, um, and some of my closest friends are guys yeah. that, that I played with there. So i uh, got a lot of love for that place. My, my high school offensive coordinator, who gave me my first job at Westerville Central is now our director of player development here, and that's that's who really motivated me to be a coach. Yeah. So I guess like Sean, this is probably been, you know, your best season, obviously. Um, what do you think's attributed so much to it, and you know what have you seen the most in your you know what five years now at this program? Yeah, I would uh, contribute to uh, just the head coach believing in me. Um, that kind of just I just needed some confidence yeah. from uh, the outside and uh, the higher power and the coaching aspect, mm -hmm. and then this guy over here throwing me the ball all the time. Yeah. So uh, it's really just a testament to that and just working hard. And, being consistent. What would be like one piece of advice you give somebody, you know, try and, you know, live out their dream of playing maybe a college sport? Yeah, I would just say don't let anybody put limits on you. Uh, just continue to stick to your path. You don't got to worry about anybody else's path. Uh, and don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. Yeah, you know, I know the Alabama game, you know, that was a close one. How has this team evolved and grown since like a game early in the season like that? I would say that, uh, you know, it just uh, reminded us that we could play with anybody. Yeah. Uh, I think that that was like a huge turning point for us as a confidence mm -hmm. boost. And uh, it kind of just let uh, it pave the way for our success this season. So going into like the off season, different things, like what's some things you want to grow and in, in your in your game and different things to work on? Um, I want to. I want to work on man-to-man -man more. Uh, yeah. I, want to, I want to be able to get more separation. Um, that's always a huge yeah. focal point uh, of my game. Um, and then just kind of getting that in and out of breaks. Yeah, had like a great season. You know, a lot of people would look at it and say, you know, you go to the portal and stuff. And I know a lot of people do. Like, you know, why do you stay here? Is it just the fit and they believe in you? Or what is it? You know, just finishing off the season. You know, I, I got to finish off the season against Syracuse. And, uh, just, you know, I, I, I would tell my brothers that play in this game and just focus on this game. So that hasn't even been a thought in oh, my yeah. mind. So uh, we, we, we going to be ready tomorrow. We You're like high school recruiting process and, you know. In process, you know, I was I was under recruited, but uh, I was fortunate to get a couple a couple D1 offers. And, you know, USF was one of the ones that consistently reached out and yeah. uh, showed that they wanted me. And I felt like like it was genuine, even if, even when it was the last staff. And uh, when this staff came in, I felt uh, appreciated as well. So I, I'll say that about my recruiting process. And to the younger younger guys, I mean, uh, go go with your gut and don't go somewhere where you're appreciated, not tolerated. So um, that that's what I would say. Do you think being under crew helped you because you put a little chip on your shoulder or something? Yeah, I've always had a chip on my shoulder. I've been the smallest guy, not not the fastest. Mm -hmm. uh, was told I would need to move positions. So I, I mean, I've always had that chip on my shoulder. At the end of the day, I know my work will speak for itself. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, ultimately, God's given me the ability to show it on national stage a couple of times. And can't wait to go out tomorrow and show it again. Yeah, starting from there to now. I'll say, so it was on a Friday. My my dad said treat it like a, a, a high school football game. You know, you played on Friday, so I, I was going. I was going with that that approach, and um, I had a great group of guys around me supporting me, and you know, they, they believed in me. So it, it made it made it all the more easier. You know, having having guys that believed in you, just going out there and playing your game, executing the game plan, and get it get it to the guys to make plays for you. Yeah. You don't have to do uh, anything special as a quarterback. You just get it to the guys, and they they make the plays for you. Like playing in a bowl game, you know, anything fun you've done or anything on this trip? Yeah, going out to eat, uh, you know, 
Yeah. Me and Sean, we went to, we went to the meat market. Yeah. Uh, one day, another, like, two days ago, so we got some good good food and uh, fellowship and uh, just learn, learning what guys like to do outside of football. You know, you have that time during the season. It's just, it's just not a lot of time. But having this bowl game, you have a, a lot more freedom. You can, you can go do things. So that, that's, that's been real cool, and learning where yeah. people are from and what, what they enjoy to do. From the first game to where you guys are now, how do you think this team's grown in, like, what ways? I would say that we are a more confident group. Like we, we go into every game expecting to win, not 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 hoping or believing we can win. We we go into every game expecting to win. So uh, our confidence is, uh, I'd say, pretty high, and, uh, and it should be because we put in a lot of work and uh, we, we we believe in the coach and we believe in each other. And, uh, we're a family, so yeah. our confidence is really high. Portal. I know you entered the portal. You know, to come, to come here. What was your experience like with that? And you know, how, what were you looking for in a school? Right. So I was at Missouri. Uh, Love Missouri. Didn't really uh, fit in with the coaches and all of that. Um, but I think, I mean, in the portal wise, it's not really, especially the specialists, it's not really friendly. Yeah. So I mean, it's obviously a big jump. But I thought I kind of bet on myself, I guess. So I thought like. Hey, I, I feel like I deserve a scholarship. At Missouri, they weren't going to give me one, so I said I, I feel like I deserve a scholarship, and uh, kind of just took a leap. And then um, within two days, Coach Lee, Syracuse got coach here, uh, came out, saw me. I went on an official visit. I had a plane ride home for Christmas break at the time, and he said cancel that, come out to for a visit, and I did. And he recruited me in high school, so I knew it was going to be a good fit there. And uh, yeah, I love it so much. You know, it must have been hard, like, trying to believe in yourself and, like, you never know what's going to happen in a situation like that. What was your mindset like? Right. I, I mean, bottom of the line, I, I, well, you just have to believe in yourself, yeah. I guess, yeah. right? It's just betting on yourself when you go in there. I have a lot of family that uh, hunted and played yeah. college sports outside of football, but, um, and the portal is so different now that it's kind of like I had no idea what the portal was. I knew just go in there, my name's entered yeah. online. I thought basically, yeah. so everyone could see. So I, it's just betting on yourself, I guess. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess everything worked out. So yeah. What's your take on you know how do you kind of like use this game to lead into like next season? Right. I mean, I think every every game is uh, earning a spot. Yeah. I don't think it's all any any guarantee ever. Yeah. So. Um, we just got to play our best foot out there, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I hope that's what everyone else is going to do. Um, it's a little bit warmer than Syracuse. Uh, what did you do down here? Anything yeah. fun or anything? Yeah, well, I was outside a lot. We, we sat by the pool a lot. Yeah. We went to the beach, and uh, one thing that I did, I, I didn't, I can't wrap my head around still, is that I'm from California. The beach is, like, super cold there. The water's yeah. cold. The water here is, like, warm. And, and you're like, in, like, the cold season, too, here. Right, that's crazy. right. So, I mean, it's a great time. It was an awesome place. I know you grew up playing baseball, basketball, yeah. football. Uh, how do you think you know all three sports helped you in football and you know all around as an athlete? Um, I think my answer to that would be just the athleticism that comes with all three, right? Basketball, you got to be able to move laterally, be able to get your feet in the ground quick, and I think that helps with me playing defensive back. Um, now with baseball, I just think the hand-eye coordination that comes from trying to hit a baseball. And I've said it before, but I think baseball is the hardest sport that I play. Um, just the amount of skill and practice that you need to put into it to be good and then how many people actually play the game mm -hmm. and try to go to the next level yeah. and try and go to the pros and get stuck in the minors mm -hmm. um, it makes it so difficult. You won like a prep league championship or something. Uh, did, you know, 